Hi guys and welcome to another returns. This one is actually uh, an August submission which is pretty crazy considering we got the July ones out there. Uh, just proves that I can't decide when PSA are going to grade cards. These ones have come back within 20 business days. Uh, we've got a good number of you in here so let's have a look. Our first submitter is Glenn and he starts off with this fire. It's the Charizard from Dragon Majesty. A uh, small personal favourite of mine. It's a bit ridiculous the amount of Charizards they're bringing out at the moment. Uh, but this is a really nice one. Uh, it's the Gemin 10 which is always the best news. Uh, two of those, in fact. Then we move on to more Dragon Majesty. This is the Kingdra GX. Uh, I can't remember whether you got this one or the Hyper Rare in the collection box, but either way, Gem Mint 10. The Snubble promo. A lovely stamp there. Snubble looking really annoying and stubborn. Gem Mint 10 yet again, so a really good start here by Glenn. Detective Pikachu. This is a Mint 9 this time, again with that stamp. Really cool card. Ryan Reynolds, of course. Uh, the Psyduck. Getting the Gem Mint 10, probably the happiest side it was. I don't remember him doing that stance in the movie, but anyway. Bulbasaur, unfortunately, did get the excellent Mint 6, which normally means they found something actually wrong with the card. Um, so that's unfortunate, by the way. Excellent Mint 6. Zoroark GX from Special Collection, uh, Shining Legends Special Collection, that is. Gem Mint 10. Your Shining Legends Pokemon Breeder with the Mill Tank there, also getting that amazing Gem Mint 10 grade. Salamance GX promo, Gem Mint 10, loads of gems to show off here for Glenn. I think overall he's going to be really happy. And actually we do show off some hidden fakes now, uh, which we're going to expect a lot of over the next few months. Gyarados GX and Giovanni's Exile. Oh, these are really cool actually. So these are Dream League. Uh, Dream League. So these are actually the first Dream League cards we've had back from PSA. So we've got Wishy Washy there. we got Torkoal. We got Gallade, really unique, cool artworks. I mean, just look at that. Z uh, Reshiram and Zekrom GX beauties, absolute beauties. And Sil Valley GX as well. Thank you very much, Glenn, for your submission. And I, I think you will be delighted with those grades. Our next submitter is Daniel. Uh, Daniel starts off with Watsy now. So this is Neo Genesis first edition Azumarill, getting the Neomin 8 grade. Heracross, this card is so hard to grade. Uh, I know this personally. I've never got anything better than a Mint 9, and that was just one copy. And I used to have a lot of these hanging about. Uh, but Neomin 7, an annoying grade now, and that is that 8.5 grade, the grade no one ever wants to see. But it is the Blastoise from Crystal Guardians. Ironically, I think I graded this an 8 slash 9, uh, but... That's not really the grade you want to see, right in the middle. Uh, Reshiram and Charizard GX from Unbroken Bonds with that Gem Mint 10. Really cool card there. And then this is probably your best and biggest card from this return. It is the Charizard Team Up pre-release Gem Mint 10. Absolute beautiful card. Um, really cool to get that on the pre-release stamped version. Then we have uh, Sky Legend now. So this isn't from Hidden Fates, it's the Stained Glass. Uh, promo with Zapdos, Articuno and Moltres. This really cool pretend boss Pikachu now with the Gem Mint 10 grade. And I think that is what follows up too. Yes, it is. And the next one, that is Team Aqua with the Gem Mint 10, 192. The amount of SM promos and SM promo Pikachus, that is, is absolutely ridiculous. 191, then we move on to 193. You're going to be really happy with these, I think. You know, all Gem Mint 10s. Um, he had to check the last one, of course, but they are all Gem Mint 10s. So, Daniel, thank you very much for using Graded Gem. And again, I think you're going to be happy with those. Moving on to Ross now. Ross is also going to start off with Neo Genesis, uh, funnily enough. Um, we have a Slow King first edition. Really, really difficult to get this in a better grade, really. Near Mint 8 this time around. We have Blaine's Charizard Unlimited did get that Mint 9. As did your Misty Cedra pre-release. And your Dark Gyarados pre-release too. So that's two Mint 9 pre-releases. But a really cool Gem Mint 10 from the original base. Don't see these too often. So congratulations on that grade. A Mint 9 on your Magneton Fossil. A Mint 8, unfortunately, on your Dragonite. Which actually isn't a bad grade, I don't think. A Mint 8 on your Chansey as well from base set 2. Arcanine from Supreme Victors. I really do like this card. Reverse Mint 9. Nido King with that Gem Mint 10 grade. I absolutely love this card. I've got this put away in my collection. Beautiful one for me. Great contrast. The gold and black colours. Beautiful card. Tyranitar Unleashed near Mint 8. 
your Armaldo EX from EX Legend Maker with a Mint 9 Grade 2. As does your Rockets Raikou EX from EX Deoxys. So often very confused with from Team Rocket Returns, but this is of course Deoxys. Oh, these are really cool. I'm hoping to build the Shaman into the thumbnail. I love it. Uh, so these are from Roaring Skies, both the Rayquaza and the Shaman, both getting the Gem Mint 10 grade. That's four years old now, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Shining Volcanion Gem Mint 10 and Shining Arceus Nimin 8, unfortunately. Ross actually does have a second stack of cards. Uh, so that is the Shining Mew Mint 9. Mashamp, oh, they've done so really strange with this stamp, the ink error there. Near Mint 7 on this Mashamp stamp uh, and staff as well. As you can see on there, really nice card. Mint 9 on the Charizard from Detective Pikachu. Gem Mint 10 on the Charizard GX though from Hidden Fates. As does the Zerk Tree GX, so again, more Hidden Fates cards. Coming back now from PSA, which is really cool to see. Hopefully, um, people who are collecting the set will be able to start filling them up with PSA 10s as well. We got the Pikachu and Zekrom GX from Team Up with Gem Mint 10. Palkia GX from Forbidden Light. Really like the blue texture on this card. Metal Frying Pan Gold Rare from Forbidden Light, Gem Mint 10. Unit Energy as well, getting the Gem Mint 10. Now we move on to some more Unified Mind stuff, so that's the Mewtwo and the Mew, Gem Mint 10. Really cool alternative art with the Dark Ray and the Umbron, also getting the Gem. Keldeo again, really nice blue texture from Unified Mind. Heatran as well, Gem Mint 10. The Unified Minds has done very well indeed in here for you, Ross. The Giant Bomb from Unified Minds getting the Gem Mint 10 grade. And then of course, Raichu and Alone Raichu, it's Mint 9, unfortunately. Your, oh, um, your Slowpoke and Psyduck GX also get them in 9. Can we end on them in Gem in 10? Yes, we can. And it is a big one indeed. It is a Hyper Rare Dragonite GX. Thank you very much for your submission, Ross. And I hope you're going to be happy with those returns too. Ross's good friend Martin is up next. Um, and that is going to start off with the Charizard. Very good free. I'm not sure if this is one of the ones you need because uh, you're looking for the 1 to 10 set. I don't know if the free is one you need. But however, it did get the free. The Marshadow and Mashamp GX from Unbroken Bonds. Beautiful card, but maybe not as cool as that. That is the Charizard GX from Shiny Vault or Hidden Fate. However you want to put it, Gem Mint 10. Congratulations there, Martin. Absolute beautiful card. Uh, then you've got the Garchomp and Giratina GX, Gem Mint 10. The Furamosa and Buzzwall GX, Gem Mint 10. Lucario and Melmetal GX also getting the Gem Mint 10 grade. Uh, two of those, in fact... Then we got the Sabrina Suggestion Gem Mint 10 from Team Up. Rowlet and Alone Executor GX from Unified Minds. Gem Mint 10, of course. Uh, Rowlet and Exec Alone Executor GX again. The full art, really cool full art there. Really nice and unique Gem Mint 10. Red Challenge next from Unbroken Bonds, also with the Gem Mint 10 Grey. I think overall the returns have been very successful, and I'm really happy to report that. I know a lot of this is the modern stuff, uh, but even some of the earlier stuff as well has done all right. Uh, Pharaoh Moza and Buzzwall GX is the Hyper Rares now. As he says that, he pulls out Hyper Rare near Mint 8. Uh, Lucario and Melmetal, Mint 9, and yeah. I just shouldn't have said that, should I? Raichu and Alone Raichu GX, Mint 9. Pharaoh and Buzzwall back to the Gem Mint 10s as is the Mewtwo EX from Evolutions. I really do love the card, uh, this card, and I love the texture on it. I think it's one of the best Mewtwos around. And then we end on your Japanese card, which strangely enough, got the Mint 9, but goes really well with the background we have here now. Martin, thank you very much for your submission. And again, I hope you're happy with that. The next return comes from David. David, you start off with a strange card here. Um, this card was actually sent off sealed to PSA, uh, and it's come back as an excellent five. That is not what we pre-graded. I'll be very honest and blunt about that. Uh, we graded at least a nine slash ten, and it has it just hasn't worked out for whatever reason. Um, they've given it. I've even looked over the back. I still don't think it's an excellent five, but they've got the magnifying glasses, which they've obviously seen something that troubles them. So sorry about that one, but let's hope the rest of the submission will be okay. Your Mewtwo uh, from base, Nimin 8, not a bad grade at all. As neither is your Charizard from base set 2 with the Nimin 8. Gem Mint 10 now from the Reshiram and Charizard GX. We're going to see plenty of those coming back from PSA soon. Gardevoir and Sylveon. That's a really cute Pokemon card, that Gem Mint 10. Uh, Marshadow and Mashamp GX again with the Gem Mint 10. 
Greninja and Zhuriak from Unbroken Bonds again. Gem Mint 10. And I'll actually show this with the alternative art as well. I think that's really cool seeing them side by side. Well done getting the two gems on those. Uh, Dedene GX from Unbroken Bonds also getting that Gem Mint 10 grade. Exactly what you want to see. Unfortunately, your Reshiram and Charizard, the one you probably wanted the most to be a gem, just didn't get it. Uh, got a Mint 9, unfortunately. But yeah, sorry it's about that one. Uh, Whimsicott. Gem in 10, you're hyper rare, which is always a plus, as is the Reg Challenge, even better. Welder as well, coming in with the Gem Mint 10 grade. I think overall, David, you've done it excellently well. Uh, Green's Exploration as well with the Gem Mint 10. That's going to be a very popular card, as is the Blastoise GX and the Hyper Rare Blastoise GX as well. Congratulations on those. Overall, you got a lot of gems. Uh, just a bit unfortunate with the Meowth. But otherwise, David, thank you very much for your return. Michael, or otherwise known as the Complete Geek on Instagram, has turned up next, and he has the Detective Pikachu Mint 9 uh, to start off with. The Mist is Determination there, Evolution's nearing 8. Then we've got some weird and wonderful stuff now. So this is Pele from the World Cup 100 Club, that's a nearing 8. Bruno Salter, uh, so he is actually a defender at Brighton and Hove Albion, Mint 9. Ryan Giggs from 2007 with the nearing 8. Champions Premier League trophy, also with the name in seven. Uh, Akaima, Bloodlines Auto UFC, so this is actually signed by him as well. So it's really good to get these encapsulated, name in seven. Uh, Diego Sanchez from UFC, getting the name in eight, again signed by himself. And then Tyler Mayne, who plays Sabretooth in the older X Men movies, with a mint nine. Uh, Twilight Zone autographs here, so this is William Shatner, um, and that is, oh no, William Sh William Shalette. Um Twilight Zone autographs, two and found, Written House, really cool, he plays uh, the policeman in Mr. Bevis. But anyway, really nice to see those autograph cards to come through the service, thank you very much. Uh, then we've got the Mist is Tears with the new in 7. Gem Mint 10 on the spiky-eared Pichu, which is really cool to see. Unfortunately, the other one didn't do as well with a very good, excellent 4. Um, which is a bit of a surprise to me, to be honest. They must have seen something, again, they didn't approve of so much. But we do finish off with Miss Tate, or Mrs. Tate, uh, member really a prim uh, premium Goodwin Champions. So this is actually a shirt, or something that she's used in a fight, and that did get the Mint 9 grade. So thank you very much, Michael, and please do go and give The Complete Geek a follow on Instagram. Josh is up next, and Josh is going to start off with the Raticate with the Reverse Foil, so that's Legendary Collection, that has got the Nearmin 8. Deoxys EX from EX Deoxys, Nearmin 8 as well. Your Kyogre uh, did the, the Nearmin 8, so we gave it an 8 slash 9 on the pre-grade, it did get that 8 grade unfortunately, but it's still a beautiful looking card encapsulated. Uh, moving on to your Malamar from Hidden Fate with the Nearmint 7. Uh, on this card, it will be the centering from right to left. Uh, the left is just quite a bit fatter, unfortunately, but Nearmint 7. Your Shuppet with the Mint 9. And your Gabite with the Mint 9 as well. You can almost count yourself a bit unlucky there. Cypher as well with the Mint 9, unfortunately, from Hidden Fate. Giovanni's Exile now tries to improve your grading results with a Gem Mint 10 grade. Really nice with him hold the Pokeball looking very menacing indeed. Your Rainbow Energy Hollow Fall from 2001 Verse Series. Not bad at all with the Gem Mint 10. And the Darkness Energy as well. Uh, that's again a Hollow Fall, so well done on the gem. Those are normally quite hard to get gems on, uh, as you can tell with this Metal Energy with a Mint 9. Um, and then we do have your Rayquaza Gold Star, which got the very good excellent to 4. Um, I think we spoke about this before, it'll be because of the slight winding around all the way the card and they've seen that as a big detriment, even though it's not awful damage, uh, yeah, they've just given it a very good excellent fall. But anyway Josh, thank you very much for your submission and hopefully that's not too bad for you. Our last submitter now is Axel, Axel from France, and he actually sent away an entire 1986 Fleer collection. Now, I don't know how good the grades are, because they are from 1986, but I think they're quite good. Um, I think a lot of them got new mints, uh, just to put that out there. Obviously, that didn't, as soon as I said that, it had to come out with a six, or just a seven or lower, didn't it? It had to do that. Um, a lot of these got new mints, uh, new mint sevens, uh, but, but considering the age, I think that's really good. Uh, I know a lot of people are like nines and tens only, but considering the age, these were, you know, they're not, it's not like they've been pulled from a pack. 1986 was a good old long time ago now. Um, so hopefully, Axel, you're going to be happy with these. Uh, Nearing seven there. 
Hopefully you're a fan of the cards as well, because it'd be nice to keep this collection together. Uh, Daryl Dawkins with the excellent five. James Edwards with the near mint eight. Really cool one there. Another one, uh, near mint seven. There we go, we do have a mint nine now. So that's from 1986, and that's considered mint. How cool is that? Uh, they actually look really cool from behind as well. It's like a little scorecard and like the clubs they've been at. Uh, but yeah, really cool. Um, and then George Gervin as well, the near mint eight. And again, with another mint nine grade, it's exactly the same artwork, I won't bore you with that. Sydney Green with the near mint eight this time. Daryl Griffith with the excellent mint six. Phil Hubbard with the near mint seven. And then Eddie Johnson with the Mint 9. Uh, see, I don't know if more some of these cards are like more desirable than others. And some cards you want lower grades. Well, not, not, you don't want them, but you prefer the lower grades to be on them. And then the uh, higher grades on others. Uh, Bernard King now with an Mint 8. Axel has actually got a second stack of cards. Sent quite a few away as well. Um, so that's a near Mint 8, Alan Lavelle. And Lafetti Lavere with a Mint 9. That's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Uh, Jeff Malone with an Mint 8 grade. And Larry Nance with a Mint 9 as well. Really cool. Louis Orr with the Nimmin 8. Sam Perkins as well with the Nimmin 8 grade. With Dan Roundfield having to round it down with a Nimmin 7. <laughs> Jeff Rufflin with the Nimmin 7 too. And, and Tui does actually in fact have of the exact same artwork with a Nimmin 7. Jerry now with the excellent Mint 6. Jack now with the Nimmin 7. Very tall guy there. Look at that leap. Uh, Nimmin 8 from Rory. I don't know whether some of these artworks are better. Is it better than when they're shooting hoops? I mean, look at the muscles on the next guy. Kelly. I think, I mean, geez, that's a Mint 9. Really cool artwork there. A very good, excellent four, unfortunately, on Melvin. Nimmin 8 with Buck Williams. Uh, Nimmin 8 with Gus Williams. Then we move on to the sticker. So these were like part of the set, but not wholly in it. Maybe like promos for today. Uh, so Larry Bird with the, near, with the excellent five, Julius Irvin with the excellent six, and then Akeem, unfortunately, we're gonna finish on the lowest grade, which is a very good free. Maybe I should have looked through those before I started the video. But anyways, thank you very much, Axel, and thank you to everyone here. I think you've all actually done quite well indeed. Um, we are gonna end it how we started it, and that is with that beautiful Charizard being there from Glenn. Otherwise, guys, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe, please like, do the rest, and watch the outro. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, please like, hit that bell button and go and follow our social media. Oh, and don't forget gradedgem.com. Thanks, guys.